Hello dear friends, welcome back. How are you all today? Are you excited for today's lesson? I don't know about you, but I'm very much excited. Today, we are going to study about animals classification. Before starting, I would like to ask you one question. Have you ever visited the zoo yet? Those who have, you must have seen varieties of animals. Those who haven't, don't worry. By the end of this video, you will feel you have known about different animals already. In summer season, what bothers you the most? Have you ever thought of it? As we see so many insects around our house and playgrounds, while sleeping. Have you ever experienced mosquitoes singing in your ear? Isn't it annoying? Also, cockroaches, houseflies, slug, grasshopper, snail, and many more of them surround us, especially in hot weather. What are these? Insects? Mollusca? Yes, all these animals fall under the category of invertebrates. Do you know what are invertebrates? Invertebrates are the animals which have no backbone. Let's understand this with an example. If mosquitoes had backbone, would it be easy to squeeze it with our hands? Definitely not. Interesting thing about invertebrates are some of them are unicellular, meaning having one cell. Interesting fact here is, do you know how many cells are there in human body? Approximately 37.2 trillion cells. So with only cells, are they visible to our eyes? No, they are so tiny, we must use microscope to see them. Talking about humans, what do you think humans are? Vertebrates or invertebrates? Don't tell me humans don't fall under both as they are not animals. Human beings are also a part of animal kingdom. Undeniably, humans are vertebrates as we have backbone. Do you have any pet in your house? Like dog or cat or guinea pig? All these are vertebrates. You might have question, what about the birds or fish? Yes, they are vertebrates too. Most of the animals you find around you are a mixture of vertebrates and invertebrates. Invertebrates and vertebrates both are found in different shape and size. Do starfish and earthworm look the same? No, but they fall into invertebrates. Do monkey and donkey look the same? <laughs> No, but they fall under vertebrates. Different animals have different characteristics. Some may live in land, some in water, other fly, whereas other crawl, depending upon their unique abilities. Some are visible and some are invisible. We can learn from tiny insects to biggest mammals. The best way of learning is from our surrounding. We are surrounded by animals that we can learn from their distinct characters. Find animals you can study near you and understand that they are different while compared to others. So, dear friends, keep observing and keep learning. This was about animal classification. Hope you enjoyed and learned from today's lesson. See you in the next video with other fun contents. Till then, bye-bye.